gosh, you're pregnant. Yep, just about seven months. So do you know the baby's gender? Well, since my baby isn't even out of my vagina yet, I can't tell you exactly how they're going to choose to identify. Huh? Gender is not simply a he, she, binary. There's a lot more to it than that. Gender is an expression, an identity, a way that you relate to yourself. It's a whole range of characteristics that vary from masculine to feminine. It involves all of the behavioral, cultural, and psychological traits associated with one particular sex. Although often used interchangeably, sex and gender do not mean the same thing. What exactly is the difference between sex and gender? Sex is determined by what's between a person's legs as well as their chromosomes. Girls have vulvas and boys have penises. Girls have XX chromosomes while boys have XY chromosomes. Although there are variations of this, including people that have extra chromosomes or don't have a clear penis or vagina or possess both ovaries, a uterus, and a penis, these are the exceptions to the rule and also kind of complicate the definition of sex. It makes everything very confusing, so we will save that piece for another video. Gender is not determined by a person's anatomy. Rather, it's determined by their identity, how they see themselves, and how they relate to others. People are often forced into and told what their gender identity is when they're born, based on their genitals. But it's not that simple. Gender is a social construction, and that construction can vary vastly between societies. For example, in Indonesia, they have five genders, not just two. I think the biggest component to understanding this is how gender is not just black and white. There's a vast gray area between those two, and most people fall somewhere in the middle, as most people possess some masculine traits, and most people also possess some feminine traits. What makes up all of this is exactly what determines someone's gender, although it is up to them to determine it for themselves. Gender is expressed in the magazines you read, the clothes you wear, your jewelry, your makeup, your hairstyle, and even how you sit. We are often told how we're supposed to express our gender by our society, our culture, and our parents. And most of us will come to associate ourselves and our personal identity with our genitals. If your identity and your body matches, you are what's known as cisgender. If your body and identity do not match up, then you are what's known as transgender. There is no right or wrong way to identify, and there's no right or wrong way to express yourself. The fact is that most of us have an identity that fits outside of the box that society puts us in. Most of us do not identify as strictly cisgender, and it's important that you keep an open mind and are willing to accept people that don't fall into society's idea of perfection. Thanks so much for watching everyone, and if you have any more questions about sex or gender, make sure to leave me a comment or a video response. Also, I'm going to be making a part two to this video to explain more about the variations in sex. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next video.